What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and it's time for Upset Alert Week 15. I have to admit that I'm really disappointed in myself. I feel like I've let you guys down with my Upset Alert videos the last couple of weeks. They have not been very good. And if you've watched this channel over the years, uh, this is something that I'm, I'm normally very good at. Normally, there is not a, an upset that happens, maybe one a week where I did not have it on my list. So what we do here is we pick eight games that are most likely to be upsets, not predicting them to be upsets, just saying that these are the games. If there's going to be an upset, it will fall within these eight games. And the spread has to be more than a field goal, four points or more to be considered an upset. And that's what we do each week. So last week, again, was not a very good week. I think the week before was a bad week as well. I really missed them. I missed them. Okay, so TCU Oklahoma State didn't have that one on here. That one was a bit of a surprise. Marshall and Rice, who saw that one coming? Uh, that one was just out of nowhere. I have no idea. I didn't watch that game, uh, so I have no idea what happened, but Rice beat them like 20 to nothing. The Cal Oregon, that was a surprise. Cal had not won a game, uh, so I I guess just didn't see that one coming. And now there were a couple that, that were on my radar. So Indiana, Wisconsin, they didn't make it into the video last week. But I talked about that game. I said that was one that I was considering. It was like if I had nine or ten games, I would have had that game on here. So that one wasn't a huge shock. Uh, I I missed it, but I didn't. You know, I did at least have it on the radar. And then um, the one game I did get right. So last week it was Coastal Carolina and Liberty. It was supposed to be that game, uh, but it changed to BYU and Coastal Carolina. But still, I would have had that game on here. In fact, uh, if you're part of our Patreon and part of the group chat, we talked about that game on Saturday, and I actually picked Coastal Carolina to win and pull off the upset. So that's the one game that I got right last week. But other than that, it was it was just not a very good week for me picking these upsets. We'll see if I can do better this week. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it's been it's 2020. It's a crazy year, and it seems like it's been a little bit tougher. It's been easy to predict at the top, like the top teams have done what we thought they would do. But behind those teams, it's it's been very difficult to predict this year. And uh, we'll see if that continues the rest of the way. So we start with Oklahoma and West Virginia. Pressure for Oklahoma here is actually the pressure is kind of off because they're already in the Big 12 championship game. Um, so I, I don't know. When maybe they don't have much to play for. West Virginia did not look good against Iowa State last week. But they have proven this year that they are a solid team. Uh, I don't think this will be an easy game for Oklahoma. They were a little shaky against Baylor last week. I think they they probably win this game, but it could be interesting, and it's one uh, just to keep an eye on. It's it's really one that I when they were supposed to play originally, it was one I was really looking at because at that time that maybe would have spoiled Oklahoma's chance to make the Big 12 championship. Now it maybe doesn't matter as much, but I just still it's just West Virginia, tough place to play, even with a limited crowd. Uh, I just think that this one is one to keep an eye on. Pittsburgh and Georgia Tech, they're going to play on Thursday night. Why is this game not on the ACC network? For that, I, I just I have no idea. Uh, you can watch it on ESPN3 or on the ESPN app or whatever. But you won't be able to watch it on regular TV, which is very strange for a weeknight game, an ACC conference matchup. Anyways, Pitt's favored by six in this one. Georgia Tech is a team that I think is a little bit better than their record. Uh, they're a young team, and Pitt's had a disappointing year the way it started. Remember, this was a top 25 team at one point. Uh, things have kind of gone downhill for them. This would be a big win for Georgia Tech. This would, uh, you know, give them some confidence, give them some momentum heading into the offseason. Again, a young team that's probably going to be better next year. So I think this is one that could potentially be an upset. And you see the spread, only six points. We've got Navy and Army on CBS at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Army favored by five and a half. I'm going to be honest here. I haven't watched these teams in several weeks. I watched them both early in the year, especially you know before the SEC and, and, and these other conferences started playing. I watched these teams, and based off of that, uh, I would say Army should definitely win this game, but a lot has happened since then. I really don't know, you know what's gonna happen. It's a rivalry, of course. The spread's only five and a half, so obviously this could be an upset, and it could really make Navy season. It's been a rough year for Navy. Get this win, and it winds up being a pretty good year. Uh, Army, on the other hand, has had a solid year. They're seven and two, so maybe there's a little bit more motivation for Navy. Obviously, there's plenty of motivation in this rivalry, and I think it's going to be a good one either way. And then we have Coastal Carolina and Troy. So this one has all the makings of a potential upset. 
Coastal Carolina is coming off a huge win, maybe the biggest win in the history of their program. Now you got to turn around, you got to go on the road to face a talented Troy team. I know you see the record there, five and five, and you think, well, this team is no good. I'm telling you, this team has talent. I go through and did I do all the rosters for all these teams, and I look at you know the recruiting rating for all the players and and all these things. There is talent on this Troy roster, and they're playing at home. They are capable of potentially pulling off this upset. Coastal Carolina is not Alabama. They're not Clemson. They're not. They don't just blow teams out. It's just not really how they're built. So if this game stays kind of close. Troy builds some confidence, maybe gets a couple of turnovers. This one could easily turn into an upset, so keep an eye on this one. We got Michigan State and Penn State at 3.30 Eastern Time on ESPN. Penn State favored by 14.5. I know they've turned it around. I know they've won their last couple of games, but how many times? You know, Michigan State, just they just show up sometimes. Look at Northwestern. Look at Michigan. Games where they were underdogs. They could do it again, and we've seen Penn State at times look terrible this year. So I, I don't really see the the line there, 14 and a half. This is not Penn State is not the team we thought they were going to be. If they were that team, I think the spread would be 14 to 20 points. But they're obviously not that team, so I don't understand why the spread is so big. I definitely think Michigan State can keep this game close. Uh, their defense will keep them in it. I think they bounce back after the loss to Ohio State and potentially pull off the upset here. I would go with Penn State. But it's definitely one to keep an eye on. And then we go to Washington and Oregon, two teams that uh, had bad losses last week. Oregon favored by six. They've lost a couple of games now. Washington has not looked great. They've early on in games struggled. I mean, this is one that's probably going to decide the Pac-12 North. It's a huge game. And I really could see it going either way. I, I'm surprised the spread was this high. I would have thought this would be maybe a field goal spread. Um, and... I maybe even would favor Washington here because there's no home field advantage. I don't know. I don't know. So the Vegas is going to go with Oregon here as six-point favorites. I think it could go either way. So obviously we have to put it on the video. Oklahoma State and Baylor. Oklahoma State just got upset by TCU. Baylor played Oklahoma fairly tough. This is a Baylor team that's been playing better and better. It's, it's two teams trending in opposite directions. Oklahoma State seems like they're getting worse and worse. Baylor seems like they're getting better and better. Uh, so, yeah, there could be an upset here potentially. It's on ESPNU at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Cowboys favored by four. I think Vegas understands that this could potentially be an upset. That's why the spread is only four points. Um, I, I just don't know about Oklahoma State. I thought this team was going to finish a lot stronger. They're a veteran team, but they have really struggled down the stretch and they could potentially get upset in this game. Our final game, Auburn and Mississippi State, 7.30 Eastern time on the SEC Network. Auburn favored by seven. They're going into the Cowbells. It's a tough place to play. Um, what does Auburn have left to play for? You know, they, they lose the Iron Bowl, then they lost a, big, a chance to get a big win over Texas A&M. I just don't know what the motivation is for this team in this game and for Mississippi State getting this win finishing with a huge win in the conference it would really really boost them going into the offseason this is you know th this would make their season I know it's been a rough year but you get a win like this and it's gonna make you feel a lot better uh, closing this thing out so I think that this could potentially be an upset and also you look at the way Mississippi State has played uh, lately they played pretty well uh, they've you know, looked a lot better to me. Go back to that Georgia game, the defense especially. Uh, they have been improving. And again, Auburn's a team that really you're not seeing that big improvement for them. Like you just kind of saw it in the middle of the year for them. And now it seems like they've kind of uh, coasted down the stretch here. We'll see what happens. I just think, I just have a feeling we can see an upset. It's it's happened before in this, in this matchup. So keep an eye on this one again. Auburn, Mississippi State. It'll be on the SEC Network at 7.30 Eastern Time. And those are my picks for this week. It was kind of weird this week. There were no games I was in love with, no games I thought, no, this is going to definitely be an upset. But but there were a lot of games, even outside these eight, where I thought, yeah, I could see an upset happening here. We might see an upset here. So picking the eight games is a little bit tough. We'll see if we can do better this week. Again, it's been a rough couple of weeks on our Upset Alert series, uh, and maybe this week will be better. I would love to know who you guys think will get upset this week. Give me your upset alert teams down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel.